Oh, hello. Craig here from Fishplay Films, and welcome back to the BNSF Bird Soccer Road. Layout update number 30. And we're here at the bridge section, and our next episode is carving some rocks. In our previous video, we covered some cardboard strips with brown paper in between trains, covered them with the Sculptlet, the Aussie version of Sculpt Mold, and today we're just going to finish our last bit of brown paper. Glue that on there, in between trains again, and get ready for some rock carving. Right, and with our last little bit, it's time to finish this section. Ooh, didn't touch that very well, did I? Once again, if you can get a hot glue gun with one of these little nozzles, they are so helpful. There doesn't matter the sculptor mold will go over it, but you know presentation is not just for the front door. Sorry. I'm using sculptor mold to cast rocks, uh, to carve rocks instead of uh, plaster. Now I've used casting plaster on some rocks over here. And I don't think it's that good for carving. It's obviously made for casting. It works beautiful for my rock moulds. But I, for, the car, for the carving, it just didn't seem to... It probably would have been okay, but it, I, mm, I prefer normal pasta. But I am really liking the sculptor mould. Uh, but you have to have it really dry. And it takes a long time to set. It's more expensive than plaster, obviously. But it does have that grain in it, the fibre that you can use to your advantage. But anyway, we'll let this guy go through and we'll start the section just up here and see what we can achieve. So let's get into it. So we put some more sculptor mold up here and I'm just sort of letting that dry a little bit. And I'm going to try carving some rocks with sculptor mold. Now I normally use plaster because it's finer. Uh, the sculptor mold obviously has the paper mache and stuff in it. Uh, but if you go over it with a wet spoon, you will see here how you can smooth it out as I hit the bridge. And look, all I've done is I've just put, I put two blobs here and I've pushed them up like that. Because they've got the sags on a bit. But I feel if you, if you use a wet a wet spoon like or a wet spatula a nice shiny it um it takes the roughness off and gives a smoother finish because you don't want it too smooth because that's the problem i usually frig around with this too much and ruin it but i'm gonna tell you see this one down here would you even would you even bother touching that as the bishop said to the stripper. See, something like that. My problem is I used to frig with things too much and, and I'd try and fix that. I can hear you screaming, just leave it, Greg. And years ago, I would try and fix this crack here. But of course, that doesn't... There's a famous wall on the layout just around the other side with the tarragini cutoff come out. I made a big rock wall there. I will blend that in. But I'll do that. And I made all the rocks fit seamlessly, like with, with silicon in the middle, or as you say in America, cock. And I used too much cock. And it just looks like one big sort of I don't know, wall without any without any rocks. They're all, all together. Uh, so I'm gonna just go over that a bit more. I'm 
maybe just put a bit of a, a line in there. Try and sure keep that up there like that. Now I have a flat spatula, which is perfect for this, but I can't find it. I'm gonna to have to go and buy another one. Oh, oh, oh. See, that's dragged that little bit, dragged that bit over the front here. Look, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna leave that because I think that's pretty good. I've got this small flat space, which is good, but just, so this is still, it's still a bit wet. Let's wait for it to dry a little bit more and we'll come back and get it, put a few more things in it. Look, that looks really good down here. I, don't let me touch this one here. Apart from... No, look, no, no, leave, even leave that, Greg. Let's see, look, your stuff is shit. Just leave it alone. There we go. That's it, that, 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 that. I really like this front here. That's just from pushing them up. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Right, so we're going to be putting in just a bit more of a rock face out through here to uh, extend this, this piece out a little bit. Uh, Phil, basically bring this out and have a, have a face here, something like that. You know, making this up as we go along. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now I'm channeling Volker from the BNSF UP model railroader in Germany who does spectacular scenery work and lots of other guys as well. But Volker's got a very good tutorial on uh, doing rocks. Now I'm using a, would you believe it, a cheese slicer because I can't find my really good spatula. Uh, so I'm have to go and buy, I'm going to go and buy an artist's palette, they call it. Uh, an artist's, yeah, artist's palette. Um, because that is flat and uh, yeah. So we're not really getting what we want. So this is sort of the idea. Okay, so I'm looking at that further. I thought, no, that looks like crap. So uh, change of plan. We're going to bring that across to, to here now rather than have that uh, rather than have that bit. So what Volker says, you put the uh, you put the blobs where you really want the rocks. Then you can sort of work it in. So you can see how that's even made something there. So we might go with that. So sculpt the mould over the cardboard. And this is where the the cardboard had um, just crinkled and I just rubbed some sculpt mould over. That really doesn't need anything. That's pretty much done. We might just put that up there for shits and giggles. As in sort of one big rock here, but without this sagging so I've, I've actually done this too dry too wet again okay we're back after a coffee and I have let it dry out a bit and I've just gone along and pushed this up here it's still yeah I still too wet really but anyway Oh, now see that? That's good. How you get this like that just by running the trowel out roughly. I think, we've got that little bit there, that's nice. I would like it a bit sharper on the end, but I don't think, I, I think I'm going to leave that. I know I can hear you screaming. Uh, I wanted a bigger rock section. So what I might do uh, is just smooth up this little areas here. Just to give it a bit more 
you know, shiny, not shiny, smooth rock. Well, there we go here, but no, you don't. So we might just leave that there. I might just blend that into that. I'm going in to buy some new spatulas in the next week or so. Ooh, look at that. Let's leave that, let's leave that there. And we'll leave that little ridge there. Now, if, if you want to sort of create like a, just a rough rock, um, you can do that with this, with a brush like this. I would like to sharpen this up here a little bit, but I daren't not do it. I can come back and do that when it's, uh, when it's drier. After a few hours, we've completed this section and it's pretty much dried off now. I almost fell into the trap of putting too many small rocks together. So I had to get that big one on the left going. But I'm pretty happy with the result. It's interesting the grain that the uh, sculpted has. I think it's quite good. So for the last bit in this video, we're going to, I wanted to fill this little bit area in here, but I wanted one sort of big rock. Uh, to fill up, you know, remember you've got to try and stop yourself from putting too many small rocks in So I'd like something like this cast rock. I really do like I still like the cast rocks They have fantastic detail to get in a hurry But uh, you've got to be careful. They get very samey, don't they? You've got to put them everywhere. So I want this sort of look for in here so what I've done is Put my plaster my sculpted roughly where I want it. I've also redone this shelf up here. Should I tell you what, this little spoon, once you get used to using the back of these spoons, they're almost as good as a spatula, I think. But I still want a new spatula, a straight spatula, because I have problems doing straight lines with this. Uh, you tend to get curvy with the spoon. Anyway. Whoop, 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 whoop. Not having any depth perception doesn't help. I have no idea how far my hand is away from all this stuff, being having only one eye, so it's... I have to do things by feel. That's where the wet finger comes in, isn't it? Okay, look, we'll forget that. That's a bit saggy there for me. Okay, so we'll go back here and we'll push this up. Might do just a little bit of a. Once you get used to using this uh, sculptor mold, I think it does really good rocks. To be quite honest, now that there, do we leave that? See, that's a happy accident. I think that is good because otherwise we'd have another curve. You can, I, I tend to get too symmetrical, so let's let's leave that. Let's blend that in there. The dapple with the old brush. Oh, tell you what, we might have just jinxed this. Okay. Now, see, the really wet brush takes away a lot of the character, but we can always bring that back with a slightly drier brush, which will pull at the plaster and give you that uh, that sort of effect, like that. So we can just put that through there. See how the, the dry brush pulls that back and gives you that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm gonna leave that. I can hear you screaming. I know, I know. Oh, look, I'm really happy with this here, that little bit there. Quite happy with this corner bit, but what we might do is let this dry for about 20 minutes and we'll come back when it's a bit drier and finish it off.
I just need to get up there like that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is where I need one of these. Oh, 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 oh. Is that good or am I just overthinking my own work here? I am blind in one eye here, you know, so I could be looking at a friggin' bus stop. Now, okay, t don't touch it, Greg, don't touch it. I've been told that before. All right, let's come back in about 20 minutes. Right, well, it's been about an hour, and it's still wet, but uh, I think I'm going to leave that. I might just ruin it by trying to get this line up here a little bit more but oh, I'm not going to be too worried about that that'll do and we'll just get rid of that so I think we'll leave that I'm happy with the text here happy with that little lip there it could be bigger but if I screw with it you know I might I might uh, lose it we might just No, I think we'll just... Oh, there we go. Just give that a bit of a lip there. Yeah, no, that's it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. And then... Yep, happy with that. Happy with that. Yeah, good, good, good. So I would like a, a bigger crack through there. I might come back tomorrow when it's even drier and put that in, but the risk of stuffing it. Um, this is really nice here, I like that. And these little ridges. Yeah, very good, very good. All right, well, that'll do us. We'll, um, we'll carry on and uh, come back in another video. Well, there you go. That turned out quite good, I think, for uh, for a novice and a newbie, and especially using the sculpted, which the secret is to make it really dry mix. And uh, this one here, I did a little bit too much water in it, but it's okay. When you're mixing it, you have to have it so it won't fall off a spoon. That's what I've gathered. Look out. So, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I like the texture that the, uh, that the sculptor mold has as opposed to the clay. Um, oh, sorry, the uh, plaster. Um, it's probably certain places where the plaster is better. Casting plaster, no good. I tried casting plaster up here. Casting plaster, funny enough, good for, for, good for casting, not good for carving. So that's good. That's uh, a lesson learned. Sculptor mould, yes, it's a lot dearer than plaster, but if you leave it rough, you get that texture in it from the grain and everything in the sculpted sculptor mould. But if you use a wet finger or the back of a spoon, wet back of a spoon, you can get it pr pretty much mirror finish like plaster. So, yeah, interesting. Anyway, that'll do for this one. A um, bit of a surprise on the next video in scenery wise. So that's coming up in a couple of weeks. And we'll do a bit more along here. And yeah, we're slowly getting this scene done, just ready to be ripped out. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Here for now. Bye bye. Bye bye.